It's been a few weeks since I've actually posted a video on YouTube, so I figured I might do something just to sort of tell you what I've been up to. Last couple of weeks I've been tinkering, nothing really worthwhile posting, just, you know, a few experiments here and there, a few failures, but, you know, every failure is a lesson learnt, because once you fail, you decide, oh, I'm not going to do that again, I'm just going to approach things differently. But, today's not a lesson about philosophy. Let me start that again. Today's not a lesson about philosophy or anything like that. If anything, I just learnt a lesson that I should probably not drink a couple of shots of grappa before I make a video. Yes, that's true. But anyhow, you're probably wondering why I'm focusing on this um, thing over here, Mojo Tone Amp Kits. It'll pretty much give you a clue as what I've been doing today. Well, today's my 36th birthday, and coincidentally, Yesterday I received the cabinet, today I received all the components for an amplifier kit, the 1959 Fender Deluxe clone. Now this one I'm focusing on now is um, pretty much what was in one of the packages from Mojo Tone. Mojo Tone being the company, mojotone.com, where I got this amplifier kit from to give you an idea about how everything was laid out. Now, um, the instructions are pretty good, and one thing I like is that all the components come in separate little things over here to make it easy to find, and um, me with relatively poor eyesight, that's an awesome thing. Now, what I've been doing today is working on this thing. I'm building a 1959 Fender Deluxe clone. Uh, one of the most famous users of the 1959 Fender Deluxe is Neil Young. I love Neil Young. But um, one thing you'll notice is that it's a head cabinet. No speaker, no nothing, because, well, you know, I've got a quad box over there with tie-dye filled with four Eminence Tonka lights. Anywho, just to give you an idea what I was up to today, I'm probably repeating myself, I did say I had some grappa. Um, you can see they're using very, very high quality components there. You know, we've got nice orange drop capacitors, got carbon comp resistors, you know, carbon comp. These things are noisy as hell, but that's what they used in the 50s. I figured, you know, if you um, want genuine tone, as they say, because, you know, guitarists are a weird type, they like sort of... Not exactly one for innovation, they'd like to stick with the old things. For example, a 1959 style amplifier. I um, didn't get any of the valves, so I um, bought these separately. Um, I didn't want to get any of the JJ's. As you can see, I've got new old stock General Electric 6V6 GTA's, General Electric 12AY7. Um, some company I've never heard of. Quick check. It's an American valve, so it's probably made by one of, um, probably by RCA or whatever, and a Jan 12AX7. This is about as far as I got, besides making the turret board. Oh, yes turret board. That is not actually a stock part from Mojo Tone. They have eyelet boards sort of like what the Fender used. Now Mojo Tone forgot to actually send me an eyelet board but that doesn't matter because I wasn't going to use it anyway so I'm not going to complain. I don't care. I've got that turret board separately. Um, I'm a turret board fan. I'm a real fan of the British style of construction. Like that high what I built. See? 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 Build that myself. Um, yeah, I just like turret. It's much neater. Um, I'll show you some of the wiring that I did. Uh, you can see the, the heater wiring over there in the instructions. It's sort of got flying, you know, above the sockets and going out like that. Which is pretty bad practice. Um, one of the things I've read and learnt from sitting on the internet and forsaking my social life in the name of study is that if you want low noise, have your heater windings tightly twisted and as close to the chassis as possible. That is important. Now I've um, wired up the output valve sockets. Um, only did the heater windings um, wiring on the preamp. As you can see, that is a very nice chassis. Now just to let you know, that is not aluminium, that is stainless steel, or what at least appears to be stainless steel. Either way, the chassis is bloody heavy. We've got some nice transformers over there. Um, I've heard tale that these are hay bowers. Um, the little stickers on the top, that little focus, I don't know if that H means hay bower or whatever the hell. Hay bowers are meant to be pretty good transformers. They seem fine to me, I've got them in my high watt clone and they sound awesome. 
So, pardon me. One of the things about I um, discovered after being in my 30s, um, I have an unintentional grunt any time I do any lifting or whatnot, even bending over to pick up socks off the floor. But these are probably things I should not actually admit on on YouTube. But anywho, it's a few minutes of entertainment. What is it? We're just hitting about five minutes and thirty over here. Um, there will be another video following up on this. I just figured it'd just a bit of a catch up, a bit of a you know thumbs up for Mojo Tone for quality components and instructions and construction and whatnot. Because um, yeah, look at that tweed. That's nice. <laughs> look at that handle. That's pretty nice. One thing this video will not convey is the sweet smell of wood in this woodwork. What I'll do is turn around. See that. Wait, I'll actually put it down. That is very good construction. I quite like it. I'm very looking forward to, um, assuming that's proper grammar, um, finishing this amplifier, and a demo will follow. That much I can promise. Until now, I'm sure you're sick of hearing my voice, so see you later.